You see him here with uh, a president from Nigeria. Chilala Mutumba from the Lusaka National Nigeria, Museum walked through Vice President Mutale Nalumango in the picture exhibition of Zambia's founding president, Kenneth Kaunda, who died in June last year. You look at attributes of love, you look at attributes of peace, you describe him as a liberator, you describe him as a unifier. In all those elements, you see them through the leadership. And this is what we're trying to show in this exhibition. This exhibition detailing Dr. Kaunda's early life, fight for independence, his presidency, and post-presidency is being held as part of the inaugural KK Day, now a public holiday. Mrs. Nalubango has since directed the National Museum's board to set up a permanent memory bank documenting Zambian heroes. I wish to take this opportunity to direct the National Museum's board through the Ministry of Tourism to not only end at this temporary exhibition, but to put up a permanent memory bank of our founding father and many others that are not documented countrywide. She also called on Zambian leaders to emulate Dr. Kaunda's leadership, which led to his global influence. For tourism minister Rodney Sikumba, a museum specifically for KK is on cards. We will continue to engage the Kaunda family on the possibility of creating a Kenneth Kaunda Memorial Museum. The museum will be complemented, rather, with a center for the study of theories of decolonization. This topic is currently of special interest in museums studies across Africa. And Dr. Kaunda San Panji urged government to honor other personalities who fought alongside his history. father while noting the need to teach Zambian history to students. My appeal, before we go any further, to the government is to go beyond Kenneth Kaunda. Because Kenneth Kaunda had a team of dedicated men and women, youth, and various people who fought for this country diligently and sacrificed a lot. We've learned about Napoleon, learned about the Great Lakes in the Canada, but we don't learn about our own lakes and people in Zambia. Kaunda Day falls on April 28th in honor of the day KK was born in 1924. Brian Moale, ZNBC News, Lusaka.